title of my presentation is uh, laterate megaliths of north kerala perspectives on the iron age and early historic human geography uh, the study area is actually the northern part of kerala uh, and also i would like to focus on some river wells uh, where i have already conducted an extensive exploration as part of my phd thesis and later also uh, have conducted as part of a minor research project that is in the present kannur district so based on these surveys and uh, especially the field explorations and uh, based on the main uh, uh, area of this of my study is actually confined to northern part or in another words uh, the present uh, uh, northern uh, districts like uh, uh, thrissur uh, malappuram kolikkod palakkad uh, kannur and kasaragod districts and i have also uh, as i mentioned in the beginning uh, i would like to focus on certain uh, river valleys especially in the kannur district so megaliths as you know megaliths are the burial monuments of iron age and early historic kerala uh, it is placed uh, a period uh, between 1000 bc to uh, 500 ce is ascribed to the megalithic period or iron age uh, sorry the burial uh, period and it is mainly distributed uh, in the case of kerala we can see that uh, they are mainly distributed in the highland midland and lowland geographical zones that means in a you know in all area we can find uh, uh, the megalithic burials but at the same time regarding the typology there is some there are some differences in the distribution pattern that i will discuss so uh, megaliths are termed differently by archaeologist and the layman because um, in many cases laymans or uh, ordinary peoples are the first viewers of these megalithic burials and they uh, uh, termed in different way it was babington as you know 1823 uh, he has excavated the site in 1819 and uh, reported in 1923 at chattaparamba chattaparamba near calicut in uh, in calicut district Uh, and he termed it as pandu coolies pandu coolies probably uh, the uh, uh, he adopted this term from pandavar coolies pandavar or mandavar coolies mandavar coolies in tamil means the uh, uh, buried or uh, area and leshnik used another term pandukal complex i am not going to the details of all these things as uh, these are very well uh, known to the archaeology students and early Uh, and his uh, history students and local people used to connect these burials with the pandava myth the epic uh, heroes of mahabharata and uh, termed it in connection with the local myths and stories as well in many areas we can see uh, our these uh, monuments are known uh, known as muniyaras or uh, um, munimada etc so local uh, people conceived it as uh, it is uh, these monuments in different uh, ways so material wise distribution of megalith uh, there there are uh, we, we can see the three types of megalith uh, uh, monuments are found in kerala i am not going to the typologies because typology regarding the typology still debates is, uh, debates are going on uh, but here i i would like to focus on the material wise distribution of megaliths megaliths in granite found all over kerala but mainly distributed in the highland and midland areas and largely distributed uh, dis and the large number of distribution found in the high ranges and the second category is megaliths in laterate mainly confined to the northern part of kerala and mainly distributed towards the north north of the present thrissur district and uh, as i mentioned earlier in the northern um, other northern districts and megaliths in uh, the third type is or material third type or third material is terracotta or megaliths in terracotta or clay uh, burial urn which is also known as nannangadi mudumakkathali thali etc uh, and this more these types found all over kerala and probably this is the typical uh, burial form 
uh, of South India or megalithic period. So uh, I, I have just shown some of the photographs and uh, uh, you can see the stone circle. Uh, these are all uh, made in um, um, granite, uh, stone circles. Uh, inside the stone circle, we used to find uh, uh, cyst burials, uh, especially in the uh, Wayanad area and Palakkad districts, uh, we can see many uh, in the high range area. Uh, many cyst burials were located in the inside portion of these uh, circles. And here you can see that uh, the stone circle made of uh, laterite boulders, not dressed stones, uh, laterite boulders. And men hills are the second type. Uh, and dolmen and the cyst burials. Uh, I don't want to uh, explain all these things because you are all archaeology students. Uh, and sec uh, second category is uh, uh, megaliths in terracotta. Terracotta, you can uh, mainly burial urn and a uh, uh, few sarcophagus. And sarcophagus is always found inside the cyst burials or rocket chamber, etc. And this, uh, um, but however, this type uh, also considered as a typology. Then megaliths in laterite, that is our discussion part. Uh, megaliths in laterite. Uh, there are different typologies, uh, mainly distributed in the northern parts. Uh, the first one is Kodakkal or Umbrella stone. Local people term it as Kodakkal. And we have excavated uh, uh, one site at uh, Anakara uh, under the directorship of uh, Rajan Gurukal. And uh, uh, in that excavation, we found that uh, Kodakkal is also, or Umbrella stone is also a burial monument, not a memorial stone alone. But it is also uh, inside uh, we have uh, discovered uh, uh, bone fragments uh, and uh, uh, a trident uh, remain and a pottery uh, and also a, uh, a tripod tripod stand. And uh, uh, below that, you can see another photographs. Uh, this is probably, uh, sorry, uh, this photographs, uh, now that site is not exist. Uh, the site is completely destroyed by the plot owner. And uh, in the case of Kerala, uh, we have an, a misfortune because under protection or uh, state uh, government, either state uh, department or uh, SA uh, is not protecting the sites. And uh, uh, this site was uh, at Perambra. Uh, and this site was excavated by KJ John in Kalo. Is it audible again? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. 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 okay, thank you, thank you. And this site is not exist now, and the plot owner uh, actually crushed this uh, around the six uh, uh, Kodakkal or umbrella stones by using bulldozer. And now the, that site is uh, solved. So this is the uh, context of Kerala, and majority of the sites are not under protection. And uh, especially the megaliths in laterites are largely destroyed uh, by the local people. And uh, due to this uh, uh, recent uh, land mafia is mainly concentrated to destroy all these things because, uh, because of the existence of or prevalence of supernatural uh, uh, stories or stories connected with the supernatural things. The people are not uh, ready to uh, buy this land. Therefore, the main uh, concern of these plot owners to destroy all these things. And after that, they could easily sell the land or transfer the land. So uh, this type of uh, uh, monument probably uh, reported only one in Kerala uh, uh, till now. Uh, and this site is reported by uh, 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 William Logan in his uh, Malabar Manual. And here you can see the uh, uh, top part is, uh, or the, uh, what is called the clinostat part is uh, uh, made with the granite slab. And the, the orthostat or the lower part is made with the uh, uh, laterite. So this is also uh, termed as a kodakal. But here uh, the intention is different. Uh, the, and this picture itself, the, the, uh, these two pictures itself indicate that the Megal's peoples are very much concerned about the climate or weather conditions of the uh, uh, of the region and also they are very much concerned about the or they are very well aware about the uh, what is called uh, the quality of the materials quality of the material means 
uh, in the months uh, Kerala, as you know, uh, two uh, we are getting two regular monsoons, uh, uh, northwest monsoon and northeast monsoon. And due to this uh, incessant rain, the weathering will be happen uh, in the case of uh, laterate. Therefore, they uh, must have uh, desired this shape, a mushroom, si mushroom type shape. And you can see that uh, in the later period also, the roofing of Kerala is uh, uh, till the uh, expansion or the, till the proliferation of concrete building or concrete technology. We are using this kind of roofing. So uh, uh, the megals are uh, megalithic builders were very much knowledgeable in the uh, 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 quality of the materials, and uh, they must have used. Uh, and therefore, they did not make the shape of this laterate. Uh, sorry, the granite piece into the, or they did not. They they, they didn't modify it in the uh, uh, mushroom shape. Uh, then another uh, typology is capstone. Capstone, uh, uh, these are uh, a uh, capstone is protected in Charmanangad by ASI. And the right side, you can see the photographs or a sketch of uh, uh, Babington sites. Then stone circle and hood stone circle. This is another surprising uh, monument in my, my laterate. But uh, when I talk about the uh, uh, stone circle made of laterate boulders, and in that case, boulders are not uh, shaped. But in the case of laterate, this is well dressed and well shaped. And uh, in, uh, uh, in the left side, you can say the Anakara, and that site is uh, excavated in 2000. Uh, the the uh, uh, first photographs is actually taken in 2008 before excavation. And uh, in the in the second uh, year, or the, sorry, in the next year, when we dis when we visited the site, uh, it was uh, uh, destroyed. It was in a destroying stage by using a uh, JCB by the plot. Uh, owner, and uh, you can see the uh, uh, mark of the JCB JCB's hand in the, in the inside of this uh, chamber. And uh, uh, Naduil is another site which was excavated by John, KJ John in 1990. You can see the condition of that site uh, in the uh, second photographs. And the hood stones are mainly, uh, we can, uh, uh, fortunately, we have a good number of uh, good, uh, hood stones uh, protected in, uh, by ASI. And uh, here also you can see another photographs, uh, which uh, a stone circle with the three urns. So in the case of laterate area, we can see that uh, they, uh, the megalithic builders carved out chambers in the laterate plateau. But in the case of uh, where the, in the valley of that uh, plateau, uh, uh, where the soils deposits is uh, rich, then they will uh, make a burial urn. So uh, based on the uh, availability of the materials and the landscape, they uh, shaped or they decided the type of the monuments. So another important uh, uh, monument is rocket chambers. You can, uh, uh, three, these two photographs itself shown that uh, the megalithic builders were built uh, or uh, carved this kind of uh, monument in square shape and also in the arch date because, uh, because of the uh, nature of the material, so quality of the materials. And we have some quarrying mark or, dis or, or uh, destroyed quarrying marks at Chitrari, which was reported by uh, Kaja John in Kanur district. That also uh, very near to uh, uh, what is called a more uh, uh, well finished rocket chamber. So that means uh, they have uh, uh, searched some areas, and after that, they, dis uh, they discarded that area because of the low quality of the uh, uh, laterate. And they uh, selected another area for making such a beautiful uh, rocket chambers. So these are all. Uh, then regarding the rocket chamber, uh, we have two types, single chambers and multi chambers. Uh, single chambers with a single entrance and multi chamber or double chamber or three chamber with a different uh, uh, entrance. 
so uh, another uh, uh, so this uh, there are two types of chambers porthole chambers and pillared chambers in the porthole chambers uh, the kandana seri this is a protected site but in the kunnaru or edilod uh, these two sites were not protected i don't know whether it is uh, uh, whether it, these sites exist now because these photographs take i have taken in 2008 and uh, here we have we we have uh, or uh, we found some laterite uh, uh top or uh, laterite lid of this pothole and uh, again i can show some of the photographs because uh, when i uh, uh, when i visited chimeni area uh, some uh, 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 shocking photos i have taken this is the picture, uh, sketch of the rocket chamber and uh, you can see another photographs uh, in the right side so uh, can you guess it what it is it is actually a pothole and the plot owner uh, uh, closed the, the entrance part and he, he uh, converted that uh, uh, ancient or early historic monument into a septic tank of toilet so then he placed the gas outlet above the port hall and he innocently have shown, uh, he, he has initial innocently shown all these things and uh, he mentioned that around 10 or 15 uh, such uh, b- uh, m- monuments are distributed in that single laterite pl- uh, plateau so i have uh, visited that area and uh, uh, i could uh, 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 noticed uh, three or four such uh, monuments so this is the condition of uh, uh, these monuments in the northern part and nobody are willing to protect uh, either from state side or uh, uh, from any uh, local uh, self government or like that so this is pillared chamber uh, you can see the uh, uh, from the picture itself you can show you can see that uh, or you can understand that uh, this is also in a destructing stage and i i found it in a uh, laterit quarry uh, in the uh, modern quarry and i don't know whether it is exist now this photograph is also taken from uh, taken in 2008 and this is very near to uh, the kodakal site which i have already mentioned uh, uh, which is uh, destructed by plot owner uh, which was excavated by kj john in 1892 sorry 1982 and this site uh, uh, also destroyed and uh, based on the uh, survey i am trying to show that uh, uh, if you go through the uh, early survey of uh, robert sevel you can see that uh, the number of uh, monument when we uh, cross examine the number of monuments the rocket chambers are uh, huge in number and similar pattern is also uh, can i can uh, i can locate uh, in the uh, perumba uh, kuppam and the valapattan river belt of the present kannur district where i have uh, uh, conducted a extensive survey the on that uh, on the basis of that uh, i found that the number of rocket chamber or distribution of rocket chambers are high uh, uh, which is uh, uh, which which is also similar to the uh, discovery of robert sevel or the report of the robert sevel and uh, so this is actually indicate that uh, the rocket chambers are uh, uh, are large in number uh, in the case of laterite megaliths so the material remains or grave assemblage i am not going to the details uh, I, uh, just uh, pottery and metal objects semi precious stone beads bone fragments these are the main uh, uh, grave goods discovered from these uh, burial monuments and uh, i have uh, shown some of the pictures the pottery are from uh, that uh, edilod uh, from that uh, edilod rocket chamber in arch shape with arch shape entrance and uh, here you can um, born fragments from anakara excavation and semi precious stone from anakara excavation and uh, amethyst uh, quartz from uh, burn or uh, um, burial urn from uh, vaina districts so uh, the metal objects include uh, uh, household utensils and uh, uh, hunting gathering tools or uh, cultivating tools like that 
so uh, i'm trying to point out that latrids megalis are mainly distributed in northern part of kerala and this is not my argument this has already uh, stated by many other uh, eminent archaeologists like kr srinivas and like that so i'm uh, so but megalithic builders were used locally available material for the construction of the burials they have decided the shape of the monuments according to the uh, uh what is called uh, the quality of the latrid surface and they may also consider the glory of the dead persons so uh, 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 then the wide distribution of different types of rock and sepulchers uh, including the pothole chambers uh, pillared chambers or multi chambers in the northern part also have shown the highest stage of uh, iron age and early historic stage i'm trying to point out that these the, the megalithic builders especially in latrate uh, who carved out in the, uh, uh, the such beautiful caves in the uh, latrate plateau uh, actually represent an advanced stage of uh, iron age period and uh, that society must have supported by a sound multi crop agro agri agrarian re, agricultural economy or agrarian economy and uh, that is uh, that is i am trying to argue uh, through the through this presentation and this magnificent uh, megalithic in latrate have represented an advanced stage of iron technology and mathematical skills and masonry and because uh, uh, if you uh, take measurement of these monuments you can see that uh, some uh, pattern is there uh, unique pattern you can identify and therefore uh, this uh, this is this is also a prototype of modern uh, sorry mid early medieval or medieval architectures and which which is already uh, argued by uh, dr v selva kumar in cultural history of kerala along with uh, rajam gurukul and dago varir so uh, therefore the this megalithic burials especially the rocket chambers and uh, the umbrella stones etc uh, have represented an advanced stage of iron technology and mathematical skills and masonry the latrite stones circle which encircled encircled uh, the urns or rocket chambers also have hinted at the advanced form of burial practices which must have developed due to the population increase and expansion of settlements and the megalithic uh, megaliths and the unearthed burial goods primarily represented the burial good burial systems uh, and the ancestral worship of the iron age and early historic society they also uh, represent the formation of agrarian settlement the emergence of specialized craft group and also the internal and external exchanges because uh, a huge uh, quantity of pottery and also uh, the the uh, when we uh, cross exam or when we examine the uh, roof part of this rocket chamber we can find the chisel mark so that kind of chisel mark uh, itself indicate that they have they must have used different types of sophisticated tools to carve out all these things uh the the uh, the uh, laterite plateau and the pottery itself indicate that uh, uh, the the advanced stage of uh, craft uh, craft uh, or specialized craft group uh, or the settlement of the uh, uh, specialized craft group and we have many uh, semi precious stone beads and uh, till 2004 we believed that uh, uh the the beads were or the finished beads were uh, exported from or brought from outside kerala but 2004 onwards uh, with the excavation of patanam uh, we can uh, we found that uh, uh, the bead manufacturing was also uh, practiced in kerala and along with the spice trade uh, these bead semi precious stones uh, goods were also exported to the uh, western world and it was also one of the demandable good and uh, along uh, it, it it doesn't mean that the semi precious stone itself uh, is exported but it is actually marketed the megalithic oh, sorry the iron age uh, skills or iron mastery of the uh, people of uh, early historic period the presence of various pottery and the huge quantity of iron tools and implements and other objects like semi precious stone beads have his underlying the formation
classification of a uh, stratified society with a strong base of production and distribution. So some of surplus accumulation could be a chief term or it could be a kind of uh, some sort of state. Uh, we cannot uh, argue it is a, a uh, it, it is it was a state, but there are there are some sort of uh, political systems who uh, actually regulate all these things existed. Uh, it could be a chiefdom, or uh, it could be a, some so, a sort of political uh, thing, uh, political systems uh, very much close to state or like that. Uh, then, uh, therefore, I am going to conclude based on the studies of material evidence and the literary traditions. I have also gone through the Sangam literature uh, uh, and a few epigraphs uh, I didn't mention here. Uh, I think I will write uh, in detail in that paper. And based on uh, my uh, my total argument is also based on this archaeological evidences and also with uh, 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 the corroborated uh, mit, um, uh, evidences from the uh, Sangam literature. So based on the material evidences and literary traditions of Iron Age uh, uh, and early historic period, the present paper tries to argue that Megalis of North Kerala uh, represented an advanced, the knowledgeable, multifaceted society that developed in the background, background of multi-crop agrarian economy and internal and external exchanges. Uh, thank you uh, again uh, for this uh, uh, nice opportunity. And uh, as Paul Ban mentioned, archaeology is a perpetual search, never really finding it is an eternal journey with no true arrival. Everything is tentative, nothing is final. So uh, my argument is also tentative. When the uh, new or uh, recent or new type of uh, studies will that will also be changed. Thank you.